Today, I'm going to talk about the age of the universe. This is an interesting question. That is, how old is the universe? This is one of the questions that my own research, you know, bear more on directly and actually is the reason that we believe the universe is 13.8 billion years old right now. It was the measurement of the relic radiation from the Big Bang and the structures we see in the early universe that gives us an idea of the size of the universe and the time it's taken for the universe to get to the phase where we can start seeing it and the time it has taken to get to the present day. And that has to also do with the geometry of the universe and, and the fact that we are able to show that the universe is very close to flat. That is a flat geometry rather than closed like a sphere or open like a saddle. And so the issue is, is that all there is? Because what we can do is we can look at the universe, we can see the light from the beginning of the universe, we can see what its temperature was. We know what its temperature was when the light left the early universe. We know that that temperature was very close to like the temperature of the surface of the sun. It's the part where you strip the electrons out of hydrogen and once they get drops below that temperature, then neutral atoms can form and the universe becomes transparent and you can see back to that time. And before that, the light is scattered around just like it does inside the sun. And by simply making those measurements and doing the simple calculations, we're able to show that the answer is 13.8 plus or minus much less than a percent is how long the universe had to be around uh, in the simple models of the universe, namely the Big Bang Theory, in which we start out with something like an inflating and accelerating period, and then we go into the period where the dark matter and the ordinary matter dominate and galaxies and stars structures form. And simply fitting all those things together, we get we get numbers for a few parameters about the universe, but we measure them to about the percent level. And so we can be fairly confident about that inside of that model, but that depends on that model being correct. Now there's a lot of cross information. There's a lot of other observations that we see that all support that the model is close to correct. And we were able to predict galaxies and clusters of galaxies and many other things. There are lots of small things. And when you read the news, you hear about all the little small discrepancy, but most of the times they all resolve and everything fits very tightly and well within this model. And 1% is fairly impressive. It's better than your clothes fit you. You know, when you go to a tailor and you're measured for your clothes, they measure, you know, around your chest and your inseam and all this kind of stuff, and they make a set of clothes for you. And it fits very well. But when you eat meals, you expand a little bit. When you walk around, sit down, things change around. Clothes have, don't fit to 1%, they fit to 2 or 3%. So this is already better than their clothes fit you. And, uh, but there's still a lot to do in the future. Uh, but is there room to have something? Well, what happened before the universe was doing the Big Bang? Was there a phase before that or did the universe pop out of nothing? So when you say, what does it mean how old the universe is? You could say, well, maybe there's something before the Big Bang, or maybe you can say before the Big Bang, time was all interwoven with space in such a way it looked like a plate of spaghetti or pasta and noodles. The noodles are all mixed together and you don't know which way. Whereas when you have a regular noodle all stretched out, well, here's the here's the beginning of the noodle and there's the end of the noodle. That's easy to understand, but when the noodles are all torn up, you know, you don't know if it's one noodle that's self-connected and there's no beginning or end or whatever it is. So the question of how old the universe is depends on what you mean by old. And you know, in the sense that time doesn't necessarily have to flow from minus infinity to the present, it could have just started at a finite time and then be mixed up a little bit and then start flowing smoothly, or it could be something more complicated than that. So it's our conceptual knowledge limits us to know what happened at the very beginning. We can make guesses about what may be happening at the end, but even that we don't know for sure. And so we know how, how old, how long it's been, since order started. We don't know how, what might have happened before there was the order we see today.